222 miles an hour uh, gust from that storm. Yeah, but it looks ugly right now. I've never seen this community look so bad. Ducks Unlimited in our area has partnered with big landowners in this area to do a lot of the marsh restoration and also terraces. And these are, these are working people. These are people that are not used to taking help. But when you get in that type of situation, you got to get past that, get past the depression, all the things that hit you. It takes away your house, your energy, your telephone. It takes, it takes away everything. You know, you don't even have the portable water. You just don't know where, where your next meal is going to come from. You actually get a little hungry. I mean, that's kind of crazy in America, but that's what hurricanes do. They disrupt everything. But listen, it's if ridiculous. we have a good levee guard, we might have 10 foot of water. Well, that's right, and, and, pe know? and dead people. And that's the one thing that we, I never heard, of, I don't think we lost anybody in solid food. No, no, no. With all the houses that were damaged. I don't even think anybody got hurt. Exactly, and, and, and if, but if that water would have got in, we would have yeah. lost some people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I'm glad you, you, you mentioned that. We think we might have lost a couple of hundred people had the water gotten in. So the great news from this terrible storm was that nobody died. And that's, that's, that's a great thing to celebrate and be thankful for. You got to commit, man. You can't go halfway because if you go halfway, the wheel gets stuck and you flip over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Old boat, old boat. All right, uh, we're here in South Louisiana. We're about 30 miles south of New Orleans. Of course, everybody knows the Mississippi River goes right through New Orleans. Uh, right now, the course of the Mississippi River is about uh, 50 miles to the east of us. And, uh, you know, my uh, great, great, great grandfather came from France back uh, about 1820. And they settled along the coast here in Louisiana because of uh, tremendous fishing. Uh, uh, some of the most productive estuaries in the United States are right here, the Barataria Terrebonne Estuary System. Uh, tremendous production of shrimp, oysters, crabs, fish, and uh, provided a lot of the uh, seafood for New Orleans. Thomas Jefferson bought New Orleans and ended up buying all of Louisiana for one reason. He knew the Midwest could not be great without a water avenue to the rest of the world. Our community has set up a port at the end of Bayou Lafourche. That port supports 90% of all deep offshore oil. And since 1995 to right now, the federal government has, has averaged about $6 billion a year from those oil revenues that our port makes possible. And uh, so, so from, from, that, from that position, it, it, it helps out the entire country. And we're coming across now, this area of marsh was the, a project done by Ducks Unlimited. It was open water. It was open water. Okay, I mean, we, we, with, with spots of marsh, and they do a great job of knocking down the wave action. And, what you, uh, and what's good about them, you can get a marsh buggy drag line, you put it right there, dig on one side and just throw it up, and then we plant grass. And again, they've, they've, they've been through a number of storms and have done a great job. Again, Ducks Unlimited took the lead in getting this done. The 30 percent of the, the coastal estuaries are here in South Louisiana. One of the things, uh, my degree is in biology, and I've always thought, you know, the reason we don't want to see any animal species disappear from the planet, because the less animal species and more disappear, that means it's, it's going to be rougher for us because something's not working its right. And in South Louisiana, we have a tremendous amount of marsh, and this is where they get that last load of, of, of food before they, they, they fly a little bit further south. That environment that supports the ducks helps protect the, the, the two of our levees. When that sun hits that marsh grass and turns it into detritus, uh, all kind of animals feed on it. It also is the, the protector of the larval fish and crabs and shrimp. And so the whole system that we love so much of eating our food, getting our ducks, our crabs, our shrimp, is based on having a healthy marsh. And before that time, people just thought of marsh as being a, a place that you couldn't do anything with. And uh, through the years, that message has gotten across and understand that that marsh is extremely important for the, all, all the, the things that we like to do.